up friends and welcome back to vlogtober another day of vlogtober for me today is wednesday october 6th so you're going to be seeing this video i believe on friday so i trying to film a little bit ahead of time i know you just always want to say hi don't you anytime i pick up the camera and i'm talking to it she's like so curious like are you talking to me Anyway, today's, it's already um, afternoon because this, uh, my plan today, like I said in my last video, was I was going to do my port, like my fall decor on my porch, and I just was looking at it, and I'm kind of not happy with like my mums that I got. I got them at Hobby Lobby, and I don't know, they're just not as full as I wanted them to be, so I want to go back over there and look at those before I do it, so it's probably going to be tomorrow the next day before I do it um my nephew is in town front he lives in the Bahamas and so he's coming over like when I go get Jackson from school so I'm not really sure if the evening is going to be a little hectic like if I'm going to have him here if he's I don't know if he, how long he's going to stay there in town for homecoming at the college and his dad my brother-in-law um you know is an alumni and he's going to be it's the big like 50th anniversary so it's a lot of stuff going on so I just don't know the schedule and when he'll be here and when he'll be doing things. So he may be around in my vlogs for the next couple of days. So anyway, I'm, I'm glad to see him and glad that he can come over and hang with Jackson. He's 14, Jackson's 13. So it's always, always wonderful to have boys his age around. So anyway, he's going to, he's going to be here any minute. We're going to go pick Jackson up from school. And then I don't know what the evening is going to be like, but I, I wanted to pick up the camera. I wanted to vlog most days. If I can, I'm going to be making taco it's either taco stew or taco soup i don't know but super easy just like almost like a chili but you also throw in a ranch packet and i like to put corn in mine and um i have just like some fritos i might put with it or i don't know i might make cheese toast or something and then i bought some strawberries yesterday so i want to have some strawberries and cool my sugar-free cool whip that sounds so good for dessert tonight so that is my dinner plans. Nothing difficult. I actually was going to put it in the crock pot this morning, but I thought, you know what? I'm just going to do it on the stove. It's just as good. I don't need, that's not something that needs to cook all day. So anyway, that's my exciting plans for today, but I want to pick up the camera and bring you guys along. So uh, thank you for clicking on this video and welcome. And I guess, well, let's just see what we can get into <laughs> for this day. Just watching the weather. There's like tornadoes in Georgia right now. That's kind of scary. We are like, I looked at the forecast literally and for the next week, it's rain and clouds for us. It's going to be in the 70s and 60s for the highs and then like a good chance of, you know, a chance of rain every day. So we're definitely stuck in this like, well, it feels like fall, it looks like fall outside. Um, yesterday when I got up, we had like a dense fog advisory. It was crazy, crazy foggy yesterday. It was so pretty. So if you saw yesterday's vlog, there was a few little clips of it. It was beautiful actually. <laughs> This game, I don't know what, I think this is endless mode. Yeah, it is. With the light on? Uh, I, don't, I, I, I can't tell. Oh, oh okay. Well, we're home. Rocco is in there playing with Jackson. And I'm thinking about, well, I really should have already done this, but you know, since Madison moved out, I have my craft room back. There's a couple pieces of furniture over there from left from her roommate. I don't know if I said this, but Madison's roommate is Elena's husband's sister. So actually Madison and his sister were friends before anybody else was friends. So they are roommates, but she had these dressers and I showed them before and I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with them yet. So I'm probably just gonna move those over, but I need to get in here, like move everything over and vacuum it really good and clean it really good. And I think I might do that today cause I'm tired of looking at all of this and I can actually get down here and use it which would be wonderful. I want to show you this. Whoa. We got a new mailbox for the front because this one broke, like the lid broke off. And we've lived here 17 years and we've had this the whole time. And I did spray paint it a few years ago, spray painted it black so it looked better. But anyway, I didn't want to throw it away because it's kind of sentimental just because we've had it forever. So I thought this would be really cute to put like on the wall with some flowers or some greenery. I'll show you. See like on the wall like that with greenery. I think it would be cute. Let me know what you think. <laughs> like um, I'm gonna put some greenery in it and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I took some out of a little uh, jug that I had, but 
I would like fill the whole thing, but isn't that cute? I think it's so cute. I've been kind of looking for something like this to go like under, like see under that or under this. I obviously just like need something more on this wall. Isn't that adorable? I think so. And this, you know, mailbox holds sentimental value. I have some more, so I'm gonna fill it up and see. Ah, these are my favorite little picks from Hobby Lobby. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> I would fix it obviously, but wow, that's adorable. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> okay, so cute, it's just a little planter. And I actually love it underneath this picture. I might raise the whole thing up, but that is too cute. So anyway, maybe I'll do that. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna run, Rocco is here, my nephew, and he's gonna be leaving at like 5.30, so I think that I may run up to Hobby Lobby. Actually, I need to look online and see if their greenery is on sale because if it's on sale this week, I'll go. If not, I'm not going this week. I'm going to wait till next week. And, and then I'll also look at the mums because I really want to get my porch decorated for fall. But I think I'm going to go downstairs and clean out the craft room right now because it's like an hour and a half until dinner. All right, I'm going to go ahead and try and like clean up some of this. I'm going to move these probably. I really love this and I want... I've actually been looking for nightstands for our room, so I might hold on to that and then see if I can find like another one to match, sort of. And if I paint them the same, you know, they'll look the same. But there is this nice dresser. The only thing is this drawer is kind of broken. Actually, I wonder if it's just off the track. But this is a nice dresser. Yeah, I don't know. Um, so I might try to sell this one. I'd like to sell the set, but I really kind of want to keep that. <laughs>
at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy about everything that was on our mind talking to you gave me butterflies then you took my hand said let's leave now don't wanna be shy cleaned I didn't um, do everything because like I said we're gonna be changing some things up since Madison moved out so um, the plan as of right now is that I will still have this be my craft room I have gone back and forth so much trying to figure out how to get these rooms the way that like the, the best way to use them and um, just put those back then that's like my little Christmas things I bought those little gingerbread things I figured my Christmas bins are like buried so I'm just gonna put stuff there I have a couple more things upstairs that I just picked up at Hobby Lobby um, but it's all at least wiped down and I can use my desk now and I do still have like a lot of Madison stuff over there you know just like that plant there's just a few things this uh, pink fabric that was what she used for a backdrop for things so she'll just have to come over here there's like a big basket full of stuff of hers I think she was like not sure if she wanted to keep it or give it away or what she wanted to do so um the plan is so far if I stay if I don't change my mind is that my craft room will stay here and her room is totally empty right now so I'm not 100% sold on what we're gonna do but I know I've mentioned before like people have been asking me too is that gonna be Jackson's room what is that room gonna be it is not gonna be Jackson's room I do know that and it is not gonna be his room um, it's there's a couple options we have but right now we I wanted to already be working on it but we've just had so many things going on I figure that like it's not that's not imperative that we do that right now and my goal before that is to the other side of our basement someone just asked me where we store our pool and we have storage on the entire half of the basement so like this half is my craft room and that bedroom and then the other whole half is just storage so we have a lot of storage and we have a lot of stuff back there so i spent several years since marion and i went through and literally went through everything in that storage area so you know over time you just accumulate and things get moved around and things aren't where they're supposed to be so that is the next big thing is that he and I are going to go through everything and then after we've gone through everything like and gotten rid of hopefully a ton hopefully a ton I want to like take stuff to the dump and take stuff to donate and then organize what I do have then we're probably going to hire an exterminator to come in and exterminate our entire basement because we do get spiders and we do get like these I don't know we call them spider crickets but they're the jumping crickets 
and we haven't seen them a lot lately and it always depends on like the weather and what your summer was like how much uh, rain you got and it's always different but i don't do spiders so <laughs> but it, it there are definitely um you know plans in the works so i'm excited so um you know one step at a time i don't want to overwhelm myself but definitely next step is going to be our basement so be looking for that at some point that's going to happen <laughs> <laughs> and we're redoing our porch. That's another thing that's probably those two are the two next things. But then we have lots coming up after that. So yeah. That'd be good. Oh. Sure. Oh. <laughs> Show me a trick. Whoa. Don't break anything. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Too hard. Jackson. Woo! The leaves are starting to change and they're falling. They're definitely starting to fall. When this tree comes down this month, it's going to be later this month, but um, I don't know if all the leaves will still be on it or not. It will be nice not to have to, um, you know, rake as many, but it is so sad to me still. In case you missed it, we're getting this tree cut down. It's very dangerously tall so yeah i know some of you have said in the comments like um i could maybe just get them to top it off or you know different things we did talk to them about all our options because i was like i love that tree i don't want to cut it down if we don't have to cut it down and so they looked at it and gave us their actually we had two companies come and look at it and we're we're going with what we think is the best option which is just to cut it down so it is a danger and every time it's really windy or really stormy it does worry us and we did already have one huge branch fall onto their house right where their bedroom is um, a couple years ago so it's already dangerous and we know that so um, yeah we have talked to them about our options and yeah we feel like we're doing the best thing so anyway that's gonna be later on this month but um, the guy was like well look at it this way you won't have all the leaves to rake but they might all fall before he even cuts it, so I don't know. But it's, there's always so many birds and squirrels and everything up there, so I hate to do it. I love that tree, but we gotta be safe, you know? We gotta do what's the safest. I think I'm gonna give Ollie a little trim around his eyes. He's gotta go this month and get um, trimmed, get shaved, but can, you can't see out of his eyes. Come here, Boogie. Madison usually does this. Nope, nope, nope. Come here, sweet boy. Just let mama cut these, okay? I know, it doesn't hurt, baby. Madison usually does this for me, but she's not here. See, Maddie's not here. Your hairstylist is not here anymore, huh? You're such a good boy. Such a good boy. Hold on. Whoopsie. How's that look? Does that look awful? There's water, there's water bottles by the back door. There we go. So I moved this picture over here and I think I'm gonna try this right here and to see if I like it. I was gonna put it on that wall, but our tree, our Christmas tree goes there and like I would have to move it. I don't really know. I think I like it right here because I'm kind of like when you walk in, like, I don't know, the door said family and then this, our little mailbox. That is just too cute i love repurposing things you know taking things that you know repurposing them um so i'm gonna make some taco stew or taco soup like i was saying earlier so i'm gonna get all the ingredients and i'll put them out and just show you it's super easy just throwing it all together in a pot cooking it i'm gonna cook the meat first and then put all that together it'll be super easy 
Okay, so this is all that you have to use. So I like to use ground chicken, as you know, so you can use ground beef, ground turkey, ground chicken, whatever you want. It says like 10 ounces, but I usually will use half of this, which is only, what, eight ounces? So it's just Marion and I that will eat it. I don't need to use the whole pound, so I'll use that for two meals. Um, you're gonna use a packet of ranch. I also like to use the Mexi Ranch, or what's it called? Like a Fiesta Ranch or something, but any ranch is good. And then you need taco seasoning. And I always try to find the less sodium if I can. And then for your canned goods, the only one that you're not going to drain or that you are going to drain is your corn. Everything else you're going to not drain. You're just going to dump it in with the juices. But um, I've used frozen corn in the past, but I have a can of corn. So I'm just going to use that this time, but I will drain it. And then these are sometimes hard to find, but they have them at Kroger. And I grew up eating these in Texas. They are like by far my favorite beans ever. Um, and I think those are necessary because it gives it more flavor and then I'm using black beans But you could also use pinto beans or kidney beans or whatever you like and then this um, Is hold on do I need a, yeah, this is just petite diced I like petite diced, but you just need diced or crushed or whatever I just like the smaller ones and then a can of Rotel or the you know generic brand is fine, too But I'm gonna just cook the meat then dump everything together and let it simmer so if you ever see this awful spoon, see how it's all melted, and you wonder why I use this. <laughs> this was actually my mom's when we were kids. She used it to cook all the meals that we that she cooked, and somehow I ended up with it, and I just cannot part with it, and it's actually like an amazing tool for like this exact thing. So I just can't see myself ever throwing it away. It doesn't look very nice, but it's amazing, and I remember all the meals my mom cooked using it so I just can't get rid of it.
say good night for now so I can get some editing done and yeah but thank you for hanging out with me this afternoon evening slash evening I hope that you're enjoying vlogtober I love reading your comments which is another thing I probably should address just because it's hard to keep up when you're posting every day it's hard to keep up with comments so I'm doing the best I can I probably won't be able to respond to all of them but I do I do read them I have an app on my phone that literally as they come in I can just scroll down and see the newest ones I don't always get to them a lot of you ask me questions and so if you've asked me a question I don't want to heart it yet because I want to go back and answer that question so you know it's complicated but anyway there's just a lot more comments because I have a lot more videos so I'm doing the best I can but thank you so much for commenting I read them all and I appreciate them so much you know I love you guys I'm praying for you I'm gonna leave you with a scripture and I'll see you tomorrow bye